Hey everybody, uh, we are going to do a quote from Game of Thrones in the style of uh, blackboard text lettering. Right here I have Laughter is Poison to Fear by George R. R. Martin. Um, now what I do is I, I just have like a basic uh, print document open. Uh, this is just an eight and a half by 11 standard size sheet of paper. I drew a uh, black rectangle here and uh, just locked it down. Uh, if you want to see how to do that, it's your M key, it's your shortcut key. Um, you uh, just start in the corner, drag, down. I made that green. <laughs> now it's black. Um, in order to lock it down, go to Object, Lock, Selection, uh, which is just, uh, that means lock your selection, um, Control 2. Um, since I already have that, I'm just going to delete that. Okay, um, so here we go. We're going to go with this word laughter, which is in a font, it's just called script, MT bold, um, which is a lovely little script here. Um, but it, uh, I, I want to manipulate it a little bit to, rather than just having the script on a straight line. Uh, something about script looks lovely if you curve it, if you put it up at an angle. Um, so what I am going to do is uh, outline this uh, and make that make this into an object. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to just save a copy of the editable text off to the side. Uh, if you hold down Alt, click and drag, then you just it just makes you copy. Uh, I'm going to select my text again. Control Shift O will outline it. There we go. Um, instead of making it this bright yellow color, I'm going to go ahead and make it white. Now, uh, in order to manipulate it just a little bit, uh, I'm going to my shear tool, uh, which is hidden under the scale tool here. Uh, if you click and hold, you get this little toolbar, shear. Uh, I'm going down to the second one there, shear. Uh, so you get this, so you can sort of slant it, stretch it, um, you just manipulate it on a different axis than what, uh, you know, than just rotating it up or down. Um, so shearing it, slanting it like this makes it look just lovely. Don't you think? I like it. Um, okay, so here we go. Laughter. Now, I say this needs a little decoration. What about you? Um, I like this sort of loopy doopy script. By the way, um, I get the you get all these little fun little shapes here. Um, it, just a, this is just a font. Uh, the name of the font is called Nymphet. Uh, if you Google search it, I'm sure you could find it pretty easily. Um, and uh, and it, and this is just these are literally letters A B C D E F G H I J K and like you type them out and instead of getting the letters you get these uh, fun little shapes. Um, so I'm going to take this loopy doo here, this little sort of S. Uh, I think I'll bring that down. Oh, I also want to make that white. Um, right now I'm clicking on my fill. I'm clicking on the swatch palette, making that white. Um, hmm. Yeah. See, it looks kind of funny. This way, it looks like it's just sort of off kilter. I'm going to rotate this, press the R key, rotate it just a little bit, just so that the angle of the design matches the angle of the text here. Yeah, very nice. I'm sort of I'm trying to line up the the edge of the design with the R, and fit that right underneath like this G here. Okay, um, and now I want its brother, this guy, up here. Uh, I'm going to turn it white before I lose him. Okay. Once again, I'm going to rotate it a little bit just to match the angle of the text. There you go. Once again, the name of that font was Nymphet. Uh, I use it quite a bit, and I see it quite a bit on, you know, like if you see like those inspirational things on Pinterest or whatever, like totally use these all the time, y'all. Okay, here we go. We got our two. You, you know, just line it up so that it looks kind of nice. Um, you, you know, let your let your eye be your guide. Now I've uh, shift selected both of these. Um, I am going to group them, Control G, so that I have them both as the same object. Um, you may wonder why I'm doing that, uh, but see, once I have them in place right now, uh, now I can use these, I can shift click those, shift click my text, 
and I can align it so that everything is sort of nice and perfect. Um, uh, even though, like, sometimes, a lot of times, like, with uh, uh, script text, you'll get a large capital letter, um, and it'll sort of throw your alignment off. I'm just going to tap that over just a tad. Um, but get in the habit of aligning things. It really, really makes your designs look a lot cleaner and a lot nicer uh, as you go on. It just, just sort of gives you a little professional polish. Okay. Laughter is... Um, once again, this is my editable text. I'm leaving that off to the side. I'm going to hit Alt, click, drag it on over, um, changing it to white so I can see it, and then Control Shift O. It'll give it, make you uh, some editable object here. Um, now I think I'm going to put this guy in a little circle. I'm going to hold down my uh, shift key while I'm drawing an ellipse. Oh, yeah, in case you want to know what that is, it's over here in your shape palette. Um, use your ellipse tool, shortcut key L. Um, if you hold on shift while you're drawing it, then you get a perfect circle. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'm going to make it black and then hold control and then my bracket key. And drop it behind the is, the letter is there. Um, oftentimes you have to sort of click things a bunch of times until they show up. Um, that is something that really trips up new new, years, new users. I know it tripped up me quite a bit. Um, by the way, I'm giving the circle just a little white line. I'm going to up the stroke a little bit. Uh, but to get back to what I was saying, that um, a lot of times when you're moving objects around, uh, they'll get lost underneath other objects and it'll freak you out because you're like, where did this go? I spent so long creating it. Um, I, 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 you know, oftentimes it's just a, it's just a few objects lower than what you think it is. Uh, so control shift bracket keys, get used to those, use them quite a bit. Um, okay, now back to our circle. Uh, the stroke on this is a little thick. I'm going to bring it down just one millimeter to two millimeters. Um, okay. That looks pretty good. I'm going to align it center, align it in the middle. And now I'm going to maybe make some lines. Uh, you know what? That line still looks a little thick. I like to match the lines uh, it, along with uh, the lines and the designs. So I'm just going to bring that, bring this down maybe to, I don't know. What do you guys think of that? That looks pretty good, right? Okay. Um, now I'm going to I'm going to put a few straight lines on the side here just for fun. Uh, I'm using my rectangle key for this. Uh, M is for rectangle for some reason. Um, that guy's a little thick. I'm zooming in here. I'm just going to make that a little bit thinner. Thinner. You can also use your uh, pen tool and make a line and thicken or uh, thinen the line as you see fit. But um, I for I just feel like I get a little more control over things this way just by making a thin, thin rectangle rather than a line. Uh, now, I'm gonna, now that I have like a nice sort of width of my rectangle here, I'm going to alt, click, drag it down one, alt, click, drag it down again. There we go. Now we got nice, three nice lines that are uh, a little bit uneven. That's okay. If you go to distribute objects down here, the second uh, option in vertical distribute, there you go. That'll make it perfect. Um, and then the second one in horizontal line, that'll also make it perfect. Okay. So now I have my three rectangles. I'm going to control G group them. Alt click drag them. There we go. Okay. So now I have two on both sides. They're not aligned right now. Click, shift click, align them here on your palette. Gives it, it it'll just, you guys, seriously, this will just save you so much time uh, if you do it immediately, like right when you're getting it done, right when you're working on it, rather. Um, it, uh, you know, rather than having to go back and, you know, find what you need to align and figure out where the where one thing is and huh, huh, huh it just takes forever. Okay, so here we go. Laughter is poison. 
Hmm. Okay. Now this is a pretty fancy font. I'm just gonna get, I'll stretch it out just a tiny bit. Control Shift O. Control Shift O will give you outlines for text. Oh my gosh, did I not make a copy of that? Whoops. Okay. Alt, click, drag. You get a copy. Control Shift O, you get an object. So now I have my editable text over here. Say if I wanted to, instead of poison, what if I ch wanted to change that to uh, hmm, medicine? <laughs> like <laughs> doesn't make any sense, but uh, you can just say that's how you can edit text without uh, giving yourself a headache trying to find the right font and the right size and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make that white. Two. that white again to fear. Um, if you want to know the fonts on these, uh, this particular font right here, F-E-A-R, is uh, Rockwell, extra bold. Uh, the font on this poison is called Rosewood Standard. I see this font a lot, you guys, it's a very trendy font, uh, so check it out, Rosewood Standard. Um, let's see, the letter, it, it, the word is here is called Achen, uh, and uh, Two is called is cream puff. Hmm. I don't know why I chose that. I don't, actually, I don't like it. I'm gonna go ahead and change that to something more mm, masculine. Yeah. No. Oh. There. Perfect. This this font is called agency. All right. <clears throat> delete. All right, by the way, um, a fun little trick here. Uh, if you want, say if you want the word poison uh, to be the same font as the word two, all you need to do, uh, instead of like, you know, clicking through, trying to find the font again, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, one little keystroke, the letter I, will give you your eyedropper two tool. Um, you can use this for colors, you know, say if you're trying to get a color off a photograph, you can use that. You can also use it for fonts. Um, so here I have poison selected. I'm using the eyedropper tool. Click. See? Makes it the same thing. I'm going to pull Z out of that though, just to, um, I was just using that to show you. All right. Laughter is poison too. I'm going to grab a few more of these fun little designs here. Okay. Um, just to show you something fun, uh, if you have an element that you need to copy exactly uh, on the other side, like as a mirror image, um, all you have to do is uh, Control C, Control V, O, the letter O, and Enter, and that will give you your reflect tool. And so you can re reflect things vertically, horizontally, or an at an angle. Uh, so it just basically it just gives you a mirror image of what you have. Um, I know I had the other one up there. I just wanted to show you guys how that worked. Uh, it really, really, really comes in handy, especially if you're trying to draw something symmetrically on both sides. All you have to do is draw the one side. Um, okay. Okay. So that that's our little uh, our reflection tool here. I'm going to grab both of these again, align them again, group them again, control G, group. We're almost done, you guys. Laughter is poison to ear. I'm going to make that white. I'm going to outline it, control, shift, O. Oh, we'll give you outlines. I'm going to make sure that everything is aligned perfectly. Uh, and also, oops. Okay, I'm going to outline this. Control Shift O once again. Okay. Going to draw an arrow right through the whole thing, the horizontal line. There we go. See? And that is why we align our objects or we group our objects that have two of them. Uh, otherwise, like all the all of these lines here, all the things that, uh, you know, are mirror images on both sides, all those would like end up right in the center. Um, so that's why we group our objects, y'all. 
I'm going to tap this over just a bit. That's one of those, it's just a visual thing, you know, even though it's like technically aligned, visually it doesn't look like it, so I just, I'm just going to tap it just a tad over there. Okay. Laughter is poison fear. Um, okay, last step, just to make this, uh, just to give it a little more, um, hmm, vintage -y feel, uh, I found some vector graphics of uh, some, uh, like, sort of grungy textures. Um, I don't know if you can see these. Let me give you a better look at them. Yeah, so here we have, like, something a little more splattery. We have, like, all these, like, different sort of chalkboard textures. Uh, I'll go maybe with this guy in the corner. Um, okay, I found them online. The name of the website there is uh, blogspoongraphics.co.uk slash freebies slash free vector textures pack for Adobe Illustrator. <gasps> I'll put that in the comments. Okay. Um, Alright, I'm just double clicking, double clicking. Um, what that does is, like, if you have things in a group and you can't figure out how to ungroup them, just double click, double click, double click, and they will ungroup. Uh, control, copy. I'm going to minimize this again. Uh, control V for paste. Now we have a nice texture. I'm going to spread that out just a little bit. The covers are thing here. Oh, nice. Hmm. Hmm. Oops. What did I just do? Okay. Right, so I'm copying and dragging it again, just so I can cover the bottom part of my drawing here. Does that look nice? Laughter is poison to fear. That just sort of gives it just a little more of a, uh, hmm, uh, you know, just a texture. And instead of making this white, I'm going to give it just a little sort of a gray tinge. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. And why not? We'll just put a little icing on the cake. Um, I'm going to give this a little transparency feel. I just drew a rectangle right over my whole thing here. I'm going down to uh, my palette that has stroke, gradient, and transparency in it. I'm going to uh, change the opacity down lower, drop it low, drop it lower. That looks pretty good. Even lower. Right now I had it at 6%, you know, and I know that doesn't seem like it does a whole lot, but really these opacity layers can like really change the feel of what you have. See, look at that. Look, that's straight black, and that's our like colored. That's our opacity. You know, so it sort of fades the black a little bit. It dials down the white. You know, so it just makes things you know just a little more hmm, cool to look at. Okay, so here you go. Laughter is poison of fear. George R. R. Martin is a total genius. You guys are you totally psyched for season four of Game of Thrones because I am. All right, I hope this helped. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.